is part two of 12 months of Sew Sampler. I had to split it apart because the video would have been way too long. So we're doing two parts. And the first part was November through April. And I have a link to that video down below. And this part is May through October. So what I'm doing is I'm just revisiting the boxes, showing what I've used out of them, what maybe I didn't use, why I didn't use it, um, things that I hopefully plan on doing. Um, because I, you get a lot of fun stuff in these boxes, but you just, I don't have a lot of time. But anyway, it's fun to revisit the boxes and see what you get. And if you're new to Sew Sampler and you want to see what they're like, you get to see what a year's worth of Sew Samplers look like. See if you want to join the club. I have found it so much fun to open these each week and to see what tools I get that I wouldn't think of. Um, and fabrics that I maybe wouldn't buy for myself, but they're gorgeous. You get a quilt pattern to use those fabrics in. So it is a lot of fun to open these each month and see what I get and you'll get to see what I got in the last year. So I'm gonna go through May through October and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you about a giveaway. So I had a giveaway in the first one and it went really well. And Lucy S. was our first winner of one of my first ever giveaways, so it was really exciting. I will show you uh, towards the end of the video what I am giving away and how to enter. So let's get started on looking back at six months of Sew Samplers. May 2022 Sew Samplers called Make Believe. And I don't have the fabrics out here, and I don't have this quilt made. My mom made this quilt, so if I can get a picture, I will, and throw it in. I don't know if I can right now. Um, I don't know if she brought it down with her, but if I do, I'll throw it in. But I will talk about this in a few minutes where I use these fabrics. So, we got a sticky finger multi-tool from Buckle Bee Bags. So, it's got like a turning end, so you can stick it in your fabrics and push your corners out. It's got a silicone end for rubbing across your fabrics and getting the little, like I just uh, ran a seam ripper through this so it pulls the fabrics out like that. So you don't have to use your fingernails or if you're like me and you have a lack of fingernails, this works great. So this sits by my sewing machine also and I use this. I use it more for the silicone end than the turning end but if I need a turning end, I would probably turn to this. So there's that. Um, I don't have the rotary blades. I did use those. They were good. Um, I tend to use these titanium type ones. Um, I get them off Amazon, but I did use these and I liked them. I didn't have a problem with them. Faymore 45 millimeter rotary blades. So I did use them. We got these green so daisy um, what are these called? They're just green sew daisies. Notion snap. These notions snap on the top and bottom of Aurifil thread spools and you can store your needles. Now, I don't use a lot of needles and there is a needle in there. There you go. Um, but if you use a lot of Aurifil thread, you do a lot of hand sewing this would probably be a great way to take care of your needles. So you just put it in there. The wider hole goes on the top and the smaller hole goes on the bottom and they stick in there pretty good. So they're not going anywhere. But those are how though that works. And then this is the winding path quilt pattern that came with it that you would utilize the Tula Pink Tiny Beast Fat Quarter Bundle with. But I used the Fat Quarter Bundle somewhere else and I used it in the black diamond quilts I did back in August. Um, fat Quarter Shop sent me the tool and the fabric and I put it together and it turned out gorgeous. So I utilized these with other Tula Pink fabrics. I'm throwing a picture up right now so you can see it. Um, I love Tula Pink, so when I got these, I just knew that when I was going to do the Black Diamond Quilt, I would be using Tula Pink. And so I incorporated these into that quilt also with the Daydream line, Daydreamer line and the line art, I think it's called. I'll put it down at the bottom, the black and white fabric. It has a name. I can't think of it at the moment. 
Um, but that in the tulip pink background, I think it's called the glacier. It's a solid. So that's where I used the Winding Path Tiny Beast Fat Quarter Bundle that we got this month. I was so excited when I opened it. But yeah, this was another great month. I love getting these tools that I don't know exist and I put them by my machine and they work great for me. So there you go, May 2022. June 2022 sew sampler box was called Meant to Be. And <clears throat> what we have in here, and I have these together, is the Flower Pot Junior Jelly Roll by Lila Boutique for Moda Fabrics. And then this Magnolia Quilt Pattern. And I totally wanted to make the placemats. I have not gotten to it, as you see. But I want to but my mom made them and they're gorgeous they sit on her dining room table right now down here in Florida and they turned out absolutely gorgeous um, if I have a picture I'll throw it up right now if not um, well you can kind of see what it looks like here uh, so that's what came here and like I said totally wanted to make these life gets in the way haven't done it and then what else did we get we got this Mettler uh, thread and this is cotton silk thread and as I pulled this out I haven't even opened it but I was thinking I need to quilt this I think it'd be a great thread for that. Future Carrie here I did quilt it and this is what it looks like it turned out beautiful and I did use that thread. So I'll probably use this thread as the top stitching for this shooting stars quilt that I'm going to do. So we got that. I'll have to let you know how that is. Um, but I have used a lot of Mettler, so I'm sure it's going to be a great thread. We have the Lighted Seam Ripper by Gypsy Quilter. So this does turn on. It's Maybe the batteries are dead. I think I left it on. I'll have to get new batteries. This is a lighted seam ripper and I left the batteries on so it doesn't light up anymore and the batteries are right there. There's these tiny little batteries. Um, I'll have to get them replaced but uh, it's just a seam ripper. I, I work with plenty of light so I don't need a lighted seam ripper um, per se. Um, it comes with an LED bulb it says but my mom knows someone who got one of these and she loves it. So it's just not one that's safe for me. It's just a normal seam ripper for me. And then these Idle Moments Bamboo Coasters, they came in this bag, which I kept, but I haven't used it for anything. But you can see my pop is sitting on it. And I, that, that's showing I'm from the Midwest. My soda is sitting on it. I do not keep my soda next to stuff like this. Usually I'm just showing you that I keep this, I do keep these next to my sewing room or next to my sewing desk. Two of the felt things have come off. Um, it does actually keep it from moving around <laughs> unexpected, but yeah, I do use these next to my um, sewing desk. So that worked out great. So that is the June sew sampler. And like I said, I want to get to this. Uh, I don't know if I will, but hopefully I will. It's gorgeous fabric. I love the placemat pattern. So there you go. And I'm going to use this in my Shooting Stars quilt now that I've pulled it out again. So the July 2022 sew sampler is called Seize the Day and it's S-E-A-S. I've got everything laid out here that I got because I haven't really used anything in this box. Um, I got some pins. This is the Quilter Select Pin Tin and it came with some Quilter Select pins, a set of a hundred. And then we also got some magic pins which are in here. I did take them out and put them in here also. The set of magic pins 
Um, it contains six pieces, each of their extra long pins and quilting pins, perfect for holding together multiple layers of fabric. Both are capped with heat resistant comfort grip handles for happy hands. So you've heard a few times that I don't use pins, so that's uh, just something I've kept. Probably be giving that away too. And uh, But those are two of the things I got here. And this is a nice little tin. I mean, this is not anything cheap and it's got that magnet at the bottom. So it feels good. It seems to work well with holding the pins together. So, I mean, I like it. If I used pins, I would probably keep it. Uh, let's see, we got the Nantucket Summer Layer Cake. And these fabrics are gorgeous. I am using them in the um, mystery designer mystery block of the month that I'm part of. Um, there's a few extra fabrics in here that aren't in that, but uh, yeah, this is a layer cake of the Nantucket Summer Collection by Camille Roskelly for Moda Fabrics. And I have not gotten into these at all. So um, it's made for this sail away quilt pattern, which I haven't done. Um, I wasn't sure what this was, but when I look at it, I think it looks like sea turtles swimming, but I don't know. Um, again, I don't know that I'd make this quilt for myself. It's beautiful, but I don't think I'd make it for myself. So that's probably gonna go with this. And you'll use this half rectangle trimmer that you got in here, right here. Get those half rectangle triangles easily squared away with the half rectangle trimmer by Fat Quarter Shop. This handy notion makes these traditionally tricky units a beachside breeze. So I did a quilt called Black Diamond Quilt where I use this half rectangle trimmer. Um, if that quilt pattern is still free, I will link it down below. I'll still link it down below, but it was free to download the quilt pattern and you could get this half rectangle trimmer to use with the quilt pattern. You had to buy it separately. So I already had one when I got this box. So I didn't use this either. Um, but I'll throw a picture of that quilt, the black diamond quilt up so you can see what this half rectangle trimmer does. It makes perfect uh, or rectangles. Instead of like you cutting and moving the fabric around, rotating it, this you can cut it out once and it makes a perfect half rectangle block. And then also this little bonus sailboat charm came to go with the theme of this sew sampler, Seize the Day. So this is one sew sampler where I didn't use anything in it and it's not because I didn't like it at all. It's because I'm already doing a quilt with these fabrics. I already have this and I don't use pins. So still a great value, great fabrics, um, but that's why I didn't use anything in this. So there you go, July 2022. Right, August 2022 sew sampler. Follow your dreams. And you can see the fabric is right here. It's so pretty. Enchanted Emma Fat Quarter Bundle by Sherry and Chelsea for Moda Fabrics. So this is the quilt pattern that you um, they suggest you use for this. I, I like the pattern. Um, I just don't have time right now to make it. And I may do different blocks in here, but I do like the pattern. So I don't know, I'm still holding on to this one. I love the fabrics, unless I find some other use for these gorgeous fabrics. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. But I do like the pattern. And um, here's the background accent and binding that you can also get for this. So we got some So Fine Thread Gloss. This is for, um, it says run your thread through the thread gloss for fewer knots and tangles as you bind, baste, or applique. And it smells like grapefruit. And I, um, the last time I did a binding, my mom already gave me thread that was like waxed, so I didn't use this. This is unused. It does smell good, so if you're interested, this is, that's what this does, but I have not tried it but it does smell good. 
Um, we got these tiny super mini, called super mini shears. Um, super cute, haven't used them. They might be a little too tiny for me, but if you need some scissors and you need space, these will work. They're sharp. So, and I got them in pink, but I haven't even taken the tag off. So I, I haven't put this into my things of items that I use. I have a lot of little snipping shears that I like better. So quilt tape measure by Riley Blake. I did not think I would use this. I actually use it all the time for larger things. Um, instead of like taking up space on my table, I just take it out and use this. And I've used it for other things. Instead of using my husband's dirty one from the garage, I use this. So this was a great find in the sew sampler box. I think my mom, my mom gets sew sampler. I don't know if she uses this or not, but uh, yeah. And then I went through the enchanted quilt pattern. Didn't go through it, but I showed it to you. And so I may make this, I don't know, but I love the fabrics. So there you go. That is August 2022 sew sampler. Got this in there and I love it. So here's our uh, September 2022 sew sampler. And here we got the fabrics, the pattern, and the other items we got in here. First off, this magnetic seam guide I think is a great thing to have. Um, I already have a bunch of guides, so I did try it. It sticks really hard, so this is not going to be moving when you put it on your machine. I had one once before and it moved on me and I did not like that, but this has a very strong magnet. It's not going to move on you. I just don't need it, but I did try it and I liked it. So let's see, we got an ergonomic seam ripper. Haven't even opened this because I have a ton of seam rippers and I don't need another one. Um, let's see. It features a soft cushion handle to go easy on your hands with a protective cap to keep the needle tip protected. So it's a seam ripper, but I have enough of those so I didn't even open it. We got these thimble pad leather adhesive thimbles. Now I did do, I did use these when I was binding a quilt recently because I have my little binding bag here of everything I need to bind. And look what I found from earlier, the large thimble. I didn't end up using that, but it was in there. And I did use these and they're reusable. You can put them on your finger or your thumb or whatever you need to put them on and then take them off and put them right back here on this pad. So I did use it and I did like it. I think I like this better than most things I use that, you know, where you're trying to not prick your finger. Um, I haven't made a bag yet, but I was thinking when I make bag, I have had to use pins on some things to put through and they're very hard on some um, vinyls. And so it comes through and pricks my finger, but um, I have to make a bag and see, I'm sure it'll work. It worked when I was binding, so I like it. And then we got Sweet as Honey Daisy Fields 10 inch short stacker. This is by Beverly McCullough for Riley Blake Designs. Now, I like these fabrics. I like them a lot. I like the pattern. Um, again, I'm just a little too busy right now to put this together. And I've already got a couple projects from earlier this year, but otherwise I would do it. There is, um, it does make a 38 by 49 inch, but if you wanna make it bigger, it tells you what you need here, so. Um, look, denim is the accent and binding, sand dollar is the background. But yeah, that's really pretty. Very pretty, I like it. So, uh, again, I love the fabrics, I like the pattern, and, and I liked these. These worked very well, and I'm going to put them back into my little binding bag. So I have them. So there is September's 2022. Life is Sweet Sew Sampler Box. So our October 2022 Sew Sampler, I just got maybe 
maybe a month and a half ago so it's fairly new that's why I'm stopping here um, but I do want to show you this that I got in here Emily Blake designs quilty tool binding holder first I was like okay just holds bindings but what I found was once I got this wrapped on I just did a king size quilt and it what I did was I I unrolled it like pretty far and was able to sew it on my quilt while it was still rolled up to this I kept it clipped until I needed more and then I'd unroll some more like that so I really felt like it did a good job um, for me holding my binding together and keeping it organized so it wasn't like all over the place like it usually is for me so I like the tool I had it hanging up in with the hole there with my rulers and stuff so there you go I like that one uh, this soak laundry detergent I haven't used it is sitting by my laundry um, but I have not pulled it out and used it yet it is um, for your most precious laundry and it's plant derived and renewable ingredients so that's a good thing about it uh, if you're into that kind of stuff which I am so I will give it a try when I get a chance if I need to wash one of my quilts and we got this line prim needle twister this has a magnet in the bottom and it's just like the lipstick one I showed you um, where it twists up and your needles are in there now you probably wouldn't twist it that high but it does have a magnet down there to kind of hold your needles in place and uh, then it screws back down and you can clip it back down so it holds you it's just like the lipstick one and it looks like lipstick hold your needles in place for you so let's see it's a couple pins yep yep the magnet holds in there and then it just kind of twists up and lets you choose your needle so that's how it works but I have the lipstick one, so I am not going to be using this one. So we got two of a kind Country Rose Junior Jelly Roll by Lella Boutique from Oda Fabrics. Gorgeous. Look at, I mean, just rolled up. It's so pretty. But you can see kind of what they look like here. Um, and then you got a pattern that has actually two different patterns in it. And it's by Susan, I'm not sure I should find out, Ache. And Lisa Alexander um, you can make either one I'm sure this doesn't make enough for both but you can get more fabrics um, I'm sure it shows you corresponding fabrics in the back but I have made a few um, of the patterns you get in the sew sampler box and oh it's got pattern correction and assembly tips on the inside that's uh, kind of stuck on there and I've never had a problem with them they're very good patterns so I don't know if I'll make these patterns with this uh, it's only been about a month and a half and I have a lot to do so I am have to, I'm gonna give it some thought see what, what I want to do with this if I want to make this or something else but that is the 2020 October 2022 sew sampler box and I really like this so it's always great to find new tools in these sew samplers and as a lot and you also get fabric and a pattern too I mean you could quilt every month if you didn't want to go out and look for quilts to do you get the pretty much get the base fabrics and sometimes the stuff you need to make it but anyway there you go October 2022 so there you go there's six months of sew samplers um, it's really fun to see what I got and you can see what kind of projects you get um, which projects I might do, which projects I might not do. Um, see the different types of fabrics. I have maybe fabrics I wouldn't pick out for myself, but when I get them, it's like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous, and I love the quilt too. So, so now it's time for the giveaway part. We the first one was such a success. I had so much fun doing it and sharing with you. And our first winner was Lucy S. And this time. I'm not going to have you answer a question, but if you click the link down below to enter, you'll get an automatic entry. But if you want, at the bottom of the form where you enter, you can click to see my Facebook page and you get an extra entry if you want to do that. So that's fun. See what my Facebook page is all about and like it if you want to. So here's what I'm giving away. And you might have guessed it watching the video. There was a month, um, 
think it was September, where it was Seize the Day, and I got fabrics that I'm using in the designer, 2022 designer block of the month, and I got a tool that I've already had that I made that beautiful black diamonds quilt out of. So uh, the fabrics, the charm, the tool, and the pattern is what's going to be given away this time. And those fabrics are gorgeous. And a layer cake, that's a lot of fabric in there. So even if you don't make the quilt, you've got a lot of fabric to do whatever you want with. So there you go. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I had a lot of fun making this video. And I look forward to seeing all the entries in the giveaway. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!